all right so today we'll look at how we can use json with golang so what is json it is a lightweight format that we developers use for storing and transporting data between machines as a medium of communication so now how do we use it first we'll look at how to convert json to go objects and then we'll look at how to convert go object to json and from different angle we'll try to convert arrays to json nested arrays and these are the many angles that we'll look at okay so here we have basic raw json that we want to convert to go object what are the options we have we have structs maps empty interface and other suitable types that we can convert and most suitable for this use case is struct so first of all what we'll do is we'll import the required libraries which is encoding slash json and firm for printing stuff so let's go to this url we can find a good article that shows us the introduction of this library encoding json so there are many examples that are given here you can absolutely read it so now we will create a struct with the name of batsman okay so now we can check what fields we have name runs team so what we'll do is we'll create similar it is not required but we'll create with a similar similar fields in the struct so what are these id that's for our internal usage second is this team ipl team runs and the name so here the type is defined what will be this so as we can see this is integer so it we have defined it as integer string the type of this value so it is required that you put the correct type here okay so now what is next we'll create a function that will convert this json to struct and fill the values in this struct so let's create this json to struct function and then we'll pass the raw json to it okay so now we have defined a json to struct function so now we can initialize the batsman struct and then we use unmarshal function of this json library to unmarshal this struct to unmarshal this json into the struct so we'll pass a pointer of this bats variable which is a struct okay so now we have passed the raw json it accepts slice of bytes so we have to convert it this string into slice of bytes and then if there is an error we will get error so we'll check if it is if there is an error we'll print it okay so now we'll print the value of this bats or we can say the value of this converted json so what we'll do is we will run cd okay marshall and marshall we have go run main dot go so now we can see name this field runs team team india okay id is empty so what is this id is empty why it is empty we'll talk about it later now converting go object to json is also very simple we just have to initialize this batsman object not object but a struct we will pass value to it and create a new function that converts struct to json so what is this json dot marshall it accepts type of interface which returns slice of bytes with an error okay so now we'll check for the error and print the value so this json dot marshall converts go objects to slice of bytes then we can convert slice of byte to string using this let's check it go run main dot go now we can see the object that we have created has converted successfully here all the team ipl is printed id is printed so this is of type string but while converting json to struct it is not there why team I, uh, team ipl and id is empty so the reason is because the field name team ipl doesn't have underscore and the json raw json converts contains this underscore so the json library 
कैन नॉट ऑटोमेटिकली आइडेंटिफाई इट इज ऑब्वियसली केस इनसेंसिटिव बट इट कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई अ डिफरेंट नेम सो वॉट वी है वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन टू दिस द सोल्यूशन इज अप्लाइंग जेसन टैग्स टू दीज फील्ड्स एंड वॉट इज वॉट आर दीज जेसन टैग्स ओके डन लेट्स चेक अगेन नाउ वी कैन सी earlier it was printed like this these field name were exactly printed but now when we have converted this go object to the json it is using these names in the, that we have defined in the tags again here we can see while unmarshaling it is now accepting this team ipl because it has identified okay this team ipl relates to this so we have to add unmarshal it into this field 